Back after our candy escapades. Yes. Um, Peeps, jelly beans, Cadbury cream eggs. Reese's. Reese's peanut butter cups, which you can never have enough of. Never. Because they are delicious. Have you seen the, the thin ones? The Reese's peanut butter cups? Yes, thin? the thins, yeah. There's no point. It's like, it's that and Ikea. Yep. Whoever invented this does not know God loves them. And doesn't want to love anybody else. Why do you hate Ikea? Who doesn't hate Ikea? Like, let me make a store where I can only go one direction through it. The snacks are terrible. And then I have to put it together myself the and it falls apart. The balls aren't terrible. Oh, whatever, man. It's like, I have it. I'm like, give me a meatball. Not this big herd of meatball. No, I don't want that. So that's my vent session. We'll do one on Ikea later when we talk about Christ's descent into hell. What if so, we did a, a tour? That would actually Ikea. be a fun day. Do a oh, tour of I've... Ikea. Allison would love you. That's why anytime we go to Ikea, I take all my kids with me. Because then I can't take anything home with me. It's great. Yeah. Like, the kids love going there. Let's go there with them so I don't have to buy... It's like a day out to the park. Yeah. But with some more stuff to look at. It's great. You know, I, like I go it. play in the ball pit. They go shop for stuff. So... I like it. I love it. <laughs> but we're not talking about that today. Uh, today we're going to talk about the, uh, the trailer phenomenon that has gripped the world and taken it by storm. Over 250 million views in 24 hours. It's nuts. It's crazy. Uh, Thor Love and Thunder, the trailer, came out uh, yep. this past week. What do you think of the trailer? I love it, man. Sweet child of mine. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Um, you, and I'm wondering if it's going to be like with the with Ragnarok. You had Led Zeppelin in the trailer. Yep. And then it's in the movie. I'm wondering if you're going to have that and that. But you had Zeus. You have Thor. You have, uh, not, uh, what is it? The name's not Lady Thor. Thor, Lady Jane Foster. Yes. So you have, it's just awesome. Yep. I love the workout scene, Strongest Avenger, doing yep. the weights. Got a little you know? Korg and Meek yeah. in there. Gardens of the Galaxy. King Valkyrie, yeah. It's awesome. But you you know, it, it introduces you to the other gods in the MCU. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you haven't read the mag of the comics, right? If you've read them, then right. you know this is coming. But it's like, if you've only been seeing the movies, it's like, wait a minute, where, why is Zeus there? Why, why are is these, Hercules there? Yeah, a why are these guys there? there? So. No, I mean, I mean. We're gonna we're gonna swing very quickly into Doctor Strange here in a few uh, a few weeks. Excited about yep. that, and then as summer goes along, um, we'll have to go see that together, and then Bill hire things for it. Say this is research like and it. development. I like it. R and D. Yep. So it Goodman, makes it's sense. coming out of your budget. It makes sense. Goodman's like everything comes out of my budget. Oh man. <laughs> okay, but so something interesting about this, um, and we've seen this kind of crop up in conversations about Thor and the MCU and Thor as a comic superhero is Thor is a, a God. Right. So how are Christians, how are we as Lutherans, as Christians, um, what are we to say when we see another God um, calling himself a God? Right. Uh, on, on television or in movies or in media, how are we to respond to that? I think we respond the way Black Widow and Captain America did in the first Avenger movie, right? You know, he's about to jump out, and what does she say? They're basically gods. Yeah. And what's Captain America say? There's only one oh, God, God ma'am. Ma he doesn't dress <laughs> like that. <laughs> Thank you, Captain America. We love you. Um, but that's the reality is you have, you have Thor, you have Zeus, you have these, these, these gods introduced, and some would say, well, going to a movie, paying the money, is therefore supporting paganism, and things like this was a big thing when Harry Potter came out. Right. Yep. Big thing of if you go see Harry Potter, you are breaking the second commandment because it talks about witchcraft, witchcraft. and you are just as bad as an unbeliever. Now I think CPH actually has Bible studies mm -hmm. on Harry Potter. So that's just a side side note there. Because I'm about to read from a book. Well, it's the same book. it's the same conversation that surrounded Pokemon when we when right. we were younger, is that if you watch Pokemon or collect Pokemon train cards, you're supporting evolution. Yeah. I just said you're a geek. So that was how I went with it. No. I, 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 I was said geek. I was said geek. But. Uh, but that's the thing is when you look at this, you have Thor, which comes from that Norse mythology of Zeus from the Greek mythology. And even Luther would quote from these things sometimes because he was classically trained. So he knew all the stories. He knew all these things. Mm -hmm. And it gets down to what does it mean to have a god? And I would even say the MCU itself is more of a god than Thor Zeus. Meaning, I mean, how many are there now? 23, 24? Uh, I think movies? we're going on 27. Yeah. So, I mean, you could literally spend a weekend watching yeah. MCU movies. It could be whenever you're anxious, you put on an MCU movie. Mm -hmm. Whenever you're scared, you put it on, on. Like, after I saw The Exorcist, 
Gigi was my god for a week. Do you know Gigi? You ever seen Gigi? You know, thank heaven for little girls, you know? It's a terrible movie, but it was on Turner Classic Movies after I watched The Exorcist. thought, you know, the, the devil's going to come and get me. So my mom watched Gigi with me for the week. So every night when I went to bed, Jesus Christ was not my god to comfort me and as I lay my head down the street. Gigi was. It was Gigi, you know, cutting <laughs> the cigars. I'm a girl, and you want to marry me in Paris, you know? Um, but, but that's the reality is anything can be turned into a god yeah. And what happens is, as you go through time, you see, man, and, and Luther brings this up, that's why I have this lovely reader's edition of the book of Concord, and, and what's nice about this one is it's also a workout, you know, you can develop the biceps, mm -hmm. triceps, that's why Lonnie's so jacked, he carries his book of Concord. CPH, right? developing minds and physiques. Minds and physiques, <laughs> clearly most of the Missouri Senate clergy have not caught on. <laughs> um, I think there's like CPH hot dogs they're eating. Oh, you shouldn't say that. You're fat, too. Thank you, inner voice. But Luther says this in the first commandment in the large catechism, which on, you know, you shall not have other gods, what does this mean? You should fear, love, and trust in God above all things. He says this. He says, for no people have ever been so corrupt that they did not begin and continue some divine worship. Everyone has set up as a special God whatever he looked to for blessings, help, and comfort. Blessings, help, and comfort. So the thing is, it's not that, okay, you, you worship Thor, but who would worship Thor? Who would worship uh, Loki? Mm -hmm. Who would worship Odin? Who would worship, and then you get into the Greek mythology, Zeus, Athena, yep. um, Aphrodite, uh, Ares, and all this. Roman mythology, it all depended on what, what you needed at that time. Do you need wisdom? Do you need strength? Do you need patience? Mm -hmm. and, Do you need the crops to grow? Yeah, yep. blessings help comfort. So we look for gods everywhere. Our sinful nature, because of the fall, is always erecting other gods around us, and we have them all the time. It's easy to get mad at a named one like Thor or Zeus, mm -hmm. because we're also trying to ignore the gods we have. Like, even I trust in my own, like, is it your church attendance record that's your god? Right. You know, I went to every service during Holy Week. Mm -hmm. I didn't miss one. You know, and I went to the sunrise and the late service. Yeah, I went to both Good Fridays. Because my and... pastor doesn't use a manuscript, so it is a different sermon every time. Um, you know, or, or I'm involved in church. I'm in church leadership. I do things. Or I stay behind after Sunday school because I'm flirting with one of the girls in confirmation, and I want her to see how many chairs I can carry. Have you ever done? Did you do that when you were? I don't know. Because we had the folding yeah. chairs. Oh man. Yeah. I think the most I had was four in each arm. Yeah, four or five in each arm. But then when you put them down and you clip that finger, oh. Yeah. But even scream. then, we do we do that as adults too because yeah. we put how many chairs can we put up, um, just so the other people in church council see us working harder. Yeah. So it's like this is yeah. the thing. It's that Pharisaical way. Yep. The reality is. How can a Christian go to an MCU movie? Same way, how can a Christian go to work? How can a Christian read a book? How can a Christian do this? You, you do this because this is just something that's published. And as we mentioned right at the beginning of our podcast here, there's always God, there's some level of truth in everything. Mm -hmm. Not the gospel. I wouldn't say that, that you can see the gospel in it. Because that's only from Christ. But a layer of truth, moralism, virtue, right. bravery, all these things. You can see that in these. That's another thing is it's just there. And then it also gives you that door to say, I also know what other people are experiencing. And then the third one is, it's just entertaining. It's fun. Yeah, I it's mean, okay to be entertained. It's okay to have fun. It's okay yeah. to enjoy yourself. It's okay to watch a movie and say, this was great. To see Fat Thor go back in shape and cry because you really appreciated Fat Thor. Yep. Oh, he, he was our superhero. He was my superhero. He is my favorite Avenger still, even though yeah. he's going to be skinny again. But well, he's not skinny. He's like jacked. He's ripped. Yeah, he's jacked. Ripped, yeah. That's different. But I don't know if that. No, I think that I think sense. that answers the question. And I, I mean, and I think it's reassuring too to understand that just because we see it as the pagan gods or the witchcraft or things like that doesn't necessarily mean that's the only name that's on it because we put. We create gods every day in our own lives. Yeah. Everything from money to food to the shoes you wear to the route you take to school or work, that's a god. Yeah. If, it, if it offers blessings, help, and comfort. So, Perfect. It's a fun time. So Perfect. I can't wait for the movie to come out. We'll go, we'll go to Doctor Strange first yep. on this one. Yep. That's going to be all We're watching stuff. Moon Knight. Goodman's going to get like 20 receipts to this movie. <laughs> be like, I'm not paying for any more popcorn for you. No more popcorn and soda for you two. You got six refills. <laughs> 
How many things of popcorn did you get? Well, I, I tripped a couple times, so. That's our episode for today. Uh, we are quickly approaching our summer break. Well, we'll take a break for a few months uh, while we'll be at the Higher Things conferences this summer. Uh, that'll happen. But until then, you just have about six more weeks of dealing with us. Well, it's going to be fun time. Yeah. Deal with us, then come see us at Valpo. Well, exactly. you'll be at both, right? I'll be at both, yeah. I'll just be at Valpo with Todd Peppercorn, who is so cute. He's just adorable. Yeah. You just want to give him a big old hug. He's, I hope he watches this. So I hope he does, too. I'll tag good. him. I'll tag him in it. He needs a big I think that should be the thing at Higher Things this year. How many people can hug Todd Peppercorn? I don't know if he would appreciate that. I think he'd love it. I'm going to start the trend. Every time I see him, I'm going to run and give him a big old bear hug, a little Eskimo kissy. I'm oh. sorry in advance uh, to the good Reverend Dr. Todd Peppercorn. Oh, yeah. That's our episode for today. Uh, we'll see you next week. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye-bye.